All right, so today I have a book by Thomas Chatterton Williams, which is called Unlearning Race, Self-Portrait in Black and White. Basically, this book was part of the book club that we had at our office. We all decided to do the review of a book on a race topic after the um, events that happened at the beginning of June when there was those massive riots and the protests in the United States. And, you know, a portion of the members of our team were actually based in the United States. We thought it would be great to also have this discussion as, um, you know, racism is really different country per country, society per society. And I think what actually arose in the U.S., um, it brought a lot of discussion throughout the world it didn't just stay uh, quite a local thing but also um, you know different parts of the world perceived it differently and i know that in us it was one way in western europe it was the other way and the way my uh, friends in europe also portrayed or explained what they think was also way different from what the us guys did and especially the guys from Ukraine or like from the Eastern Europe, those my friends from Russia, for example, or Ukraine or Belarus, they also, not everybody found it receptive. And I think it also was way different um, thing for everyone. Due to the difference of experience, people were living in different societies and even historical context to all of the situation and the problem is way different. That's why this problem is perceived way differently in different societies. All right, let's focus more on the book. So Thomas, the author of the book, basically he explained the story of him being uh, what he labeled himself back in the days as a black man um, living in the United States. He was born in the United States and um, mixed family so his mother was white his father was black throughout three main chapters three main parts of the whole book he basically explaining his experience and his view and how it changed towards the whole thing so since being a child he came er quite early to the realization that in the united states in their society if you have just a little bit portion of blackness in your um roots of your family, you already would be considered black. So that's how he labeled himself from the very beginning, even though he was going to quite a good school. He was also trying to communicate with the black kids with a darker color and of darker skin, and they also didn't perceive him as the equal, sort of, because for them he was still more on the whiter side, and they considered his black dad to still be pretty white because of the um, position he had, the job, the kind of job he had, and that the family that Thomas was brought in was quite a middle-class family, after all. So, you know, that's why, even in his own personal society, it was like, there is still the certain discretions and certain levels, and there is certain prejudice as well, that a lot of black people, from what I understood, trying to keep their roots and being really proud of, proud of them, even though they are feeling the victims and oppressed since the very childhood and you know basically there is an early realization that if you have a darker skin tone you already in the losing position and you will have much more obstacles and problems throughout your life and that comes to realization quite early it's being not directly taught in school or in the family but just from the opinions that's coming from the society Every child, every black child, darker skin child, mixed child, already has this realization that uh, they are not in the pole position in this race of life that we have. So basically that's what he was describing. It was sort of um, his own memoirs where he was mainly talking about his childhood, his bringing up. Uh, there were, I think there was quite an interesting point that I really remember from the book. So it was mainly consistent of like those small situations that he described how he talked with his father, uh, what is the relationship within the family of uh, really white side of the family of his mother, where those were German Christians, sort of. And um, 
His father family, he was coming from the family of uh, black people from the southern states. So the experience from both sides was very different. And um, it feels like even within the family, while there was really contradictory, the same good people for whom, while being members of the family, they will, they never directly showed their disgrace of their family members being black or anything. And I think there was only one member of a family who was like trying to fully isolate himself from the Thomas and his uh, nuclear family. Basically, the father of his mother, his grandpa, was uh, really not talking to them for a lot of years until he's actually, I think, last year when he almost died. And there's also part of like being... um, incredibly having the incredible prejudice towards black people and you know uh, what he what thomas personally experienced that um part of his white family they were even though really having great relationship and getting on well with them and they were never like having any argument in terms of the race while like posting their thoughts on facebook or social media or having some comments about on which is connected to the political or racial statement they were openly showing themselves as um, being negative towards the people of other race. So that was quite eye-opening for Thomas and that he was living in this kind of contradictory situation that a lot of his relatives who were getting well with him were actually racist. And you know, like, uh, it's still not the nuclear family, so it's, it's, you know, you usually would interact with the further, wider extended family uh maybe really quite occasionally maybe a couple of times a year or something like this so he didn't experience that problem too much and i think this realization came mainly when obama was um going for the elections for the first time and that's where the um, whole conflict between um dark black society and white society was arising much more because it was really the time when the social media was quite big and it also was the time when everybody um had this social media platform where they can express their opinions and you know that uh, not everything that people think should be mentioned out there in the wild and not everything people think twice before posting the social media as well um you know a lot of things just uh, could be said without thinking yeah anyhow um one moment that i really remember from the book that's when thomas was um still a child they had a small interaction with the father in the car and then his dad really wanted him to start doing boxing while thomas didn't really want to and uh his father went into the pretty aggressive position of asking like who taught you not to like boxing like are they trying to make you white or something like this and that sounded to me so weird because you know like my personal experience as a child, we had this huge figure in the boxing scene, which were Brothers Klitschko. And you would never think of boxing as something that is like a sport for black people or anything like this. At least I've never saw that in this perception. And especially, I never saw that any sport could be a sport for search and skin color or whatever. And that's just such a weird thing to hear from people. But you know that uh, Thomas's father, he's coming from a way different background of like living in the Southern state and being a black man there. And it was still the times of segregation. And then which something that in US and it's only in the 60s and such a difference between the background of how it was back then and how it's moving now. And of course, we are definitely having further improvements as a society. Inequalities and conflicts are slowly trying to be smoothened out. And it's much more clear than trying to accuse someone and discriminate against someone by gender, race, sexual orientation, whatever, is a totally negative thing that people are shouldn't be judging by someone just by their beliefs or even just by how they look or work or their biological state which is an incredibly weird thing to do so we as a global society are slowly moving towards it and this of course in different countries and different background societies experiences is still also moving with a different pace and um this is why when thomas himself went to france at some point of a time he didn't really feel 
oppressed, so to say. He he didn't feel the black man anymore because he wasn't perceived as uh, this weirdo black guy, whatever thing he was. While while you know, like he himself is not like really black. He I think if you just if you would judge just by the looks, he is just a little bit tanned, so to say. Like he's more looking like having this more of a Mediterranean look. So this is also how he was perceived. And um, a lot of people were actually surprised that he was an American because they were just uh, probably were imagining a person from America to look something like this, something different. So at the end of the day, he found his peace in France and his wife is French and now they're building their family. And um, he personally is also moved to France mainly right now. And maybe another thing that's what he explained like in the second part of the book, I think he was partially explaining further how he met his current wife and uh, the interactions they had. And basically he was mainly talking about his um, romance stories that um, there was even the weird question of how the parents of his wife would perceive his father and his parents that knowing that they may be black. And uh, funny enough for especially like the family from his wife Valentine was from it was more of a weird question but uh, after all it may sound right now that I'm making a comparison between the whole European and American society but now we're talking mainly on the individual level and I still subjectively believe that European society is more tolerant and uh, much more accepting of different people due to the different backgrounds rather than um, societies in Eastern Europe, for example, where we have a lot of nationalism striving, or even the American society, the country that is considered to be the most free country in the, out in the world, it also um, have their long story of prejudice and the oppression of people of just different skin tone. You know, in the third part, he's already mainly coming more into the, to the scientific part of his sort of research which is mainly he's using references from different um, scientist works or he was having a long discussion with the person with a professor who's involved in the um, this racial studies and mixed race studies and you know after all uh, part of the conclusion that he potentially is coming to that it looks like that the race could be a, just a total artificial thing that was created by really old scientists back in the days and then used uh, by those who were I don't know sometimes in power sometimes not it's just I'll also make my personal interpretation in here uh, just to divide the society having those distinct rules that certain race is better than the others that there is even those different races it may be that just the whole concept of race is just totally artificial while I would personally partially disagree with it. I think the race as a social concept is way different than the race as a biological or anthropological concept, because I'm not entirely sure what was the whole story of the early scientists who discovered and tried to classify people into the different races back then, um, which aim they had by doing so. But there is a quite straightforward explanation why we all as people have a uh, different skin tone. And this is mainly um, the way the human body was adopting to the specific circumstances it tried to live in. You know, like the life first started in Africa, where we all know that a lot of sun is just being there that's why having a darker skin makes you way more adopted to the situation that you're living in and of course as much as the human race was spreading around the world and living in different situations that's why you have much more whiter skin of people living up north then you of course would go into even deeper and even spread people categorize them by their nationality by their nation also by categorizing us with different like facial expressions and appearances and that's why you like you know historically this is was certain tribe that then involved in the certain nation of the country and uh, that's how we went to into further categorization 
categorization of uh, people of certain race. So, you know, race is like this hu bigger term. So we have the huge term of human, which is then spread into different races, which is then spread into nationalities. And then it maybe would be spread into like, I don't know, even, even, even further somewhere. I have no idea. While that sounds logical, and I think in most of the times, a lot of things that made by science is then being used not in the right ways. And that goes all the same for like nuclear energy it would go for the weapons it would go for some um, different poisons some different ways that maybe the initial intention was not like to be used in a bad way but you know some of those things um, even something as a this sort of categorization can be a double-edged sword and can be used by those people who know how to use it to their uh, benefit will be just exploited and uh, of course the different we know the huge stories of uh, nationalism growing up and then certain nation uh, considering themselves being the most superior nation in the world and then they will like um, mainly briefly discussing what the nazis ideology was back in the days but how is that then different from uh, somebody from alabama saying that uh, all the black people are bad just because uh, they are of a different skin color, you know. Uh, this is pretty much what implies this uh, white supremacy term that what we all have been hearing about it um, in the, mostly in the recent years. And, you know, I think the really big point that uh, Thomas was trying to make with his own book is like, okay, what will he teach his children uh, for whom he was mainly writing the book. And I think at that point of time, he had a daughter for whom he started to write his this memoria and then um, his certain research on what the race is and how he would teach his children what it is. And then it was this moment when um, he was like talking with his uh, daughter and mentioning that uh, I think the... Thomas's father was black, uh, the daughter's reply were, but this is not true, why is he black? He's brown. You know, that's something that clearly again shows that the specific labeling and the characterization that our society is trying to put on certain people, making the world as much, not in this sense, black and white, but uh, funny enough, um, black uh, now in a lot of times would consider be something bad, you know, and uh, I think partial problem that people, that some people believe in that now calling someone black is also perceiving that someone is bad. You know, the, the children back already, like, not really seen that much. And, you know, I was like, speaking from my personal experience, who also was like, why are we just, like, not trying to call people, like, by their uh, skin colors like this? And I think when I was a child, I would barely see the difference and I think for, to me the person of a darker skin color was just the person who tend to win more than me you know it's hard for me to understand why certain people are trying to be toxic about it and put the hatred towards someone else for just looking differently you know it's probably the same problem that goes with uh, with a very long history of um, anti-semitism that uh, so many people are being against Jews for all this time. That goes into way different topic probably, I suppose, but and it was, wasn't what the book was about. So at the end of the day, the book is take you on this journey of the story of the one man and how he taught himself that the whole race concept that he perceived to be true from the very beginning when he was a child is just uh, important to forget about it and unlearn it just so in the future we will we'll be able to pass this ability not to focus on our differences to our children and future generations and this way we'll be able to build an equal society this is what i also truly believe in egalitarian concepts of humankind you know so i i'm hope that we will be able to surpass this point of continuous discrimination of someone else just by jumping on quick conclusions without having the proper knowledge of the person and judging just by their looks 
most of the times or something that has nothing to do with the person with the personal traits with how the person behaves with how the person perceives but just trying to be focused on uh, how they look and making the conclusion of what they are just by assigning them to a certain label. I think I think personally the book itself is of course I think with any book it just depends on how you read it. And you know if you have an open mind and if you also have a decision to change your mind on a certain topic, I think it's a quite a book quite a good book without um direct a certain a strict agenda like you know that sometimes the books similar to this with similar topic would try to put certain agenda to you and unless you're really sharing your views you would really feel um oppressed and unhappy with the way the thoughts are described in it and i would say that thomas did a great job why not just by trying to put an agenda because there is no certain agenda and i think there is a quite a great conclusion that comes with this book at the end of the day i think it's really nice the way it's built from the subjective personal point of view up to the point when he's making more global conclusion and by just describing different situations different perspectives of different people because he was more also describing more radical perceptions that other some other people have and he was also describing some um old views that used to be there this way you as an engaged reader will be able to make your own conclusion about whether you would agree with um, that we should forget about the race or maybe the problem is not about that thank you very much for listening i hope that this long rant about the book and i think mainly the topic that was covered in it I enjoyed to at least some extent and i hope you guys will subscribe and i'll try to make it a recurring thing i am being on a great strike with reading the books and i really feeling excited about sharing my thoughts on them with you and uh, i hope we'll have a great discussion down in the comments so subscribe give a like and i'll see you next time